Hey guys, so the next issue I read was Uncanny X-Men number 177. Uh, John Romita Jr. on art, uh, Chris Claremont on uh, writing duties, obviously. So the issue opens with uh, Mystique kind of killing all the X-Men, <laughs> which immediately prompts me to ask, okay, what's the catch here? Well, it turns out that she is with Arcade, and she is kind of like practicing her powers or whatever to to kill the X-Men. And she wants to put all the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants through the training. And uh, basically Mystique is on a one, one woman hunt to get back Rogue and turn her back to the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Because she does not buy the fact that she, that Rogue is with the X-Men willingly. So there's that whole thing. Um, we get some kind of wrap-up stuff here going on again with this issue. Um, Cyclops and, or I guess, Scott and Alex Summers um, say goodbye to their father, Corsair. Uh, Xavier says goodbye to Landra. And the rest of the X-Men kind of, you know, do some other things. So Kitty Pride is still upset about uh, Storm's hairdo and outfit change, I guess. And the uh, later on that night, rest um, uh, what do you call Colossus and uh, Kitty, and then I forget what her name is. It's like Andrea. I forget what uh, Nightcrawler's uh, girlfriend is, but her, the, both of them kind of go to like a ballet or something. And as Kitty and Peter parked the car. They're walking towards the ballet to meet up with Nightcrawler and his date. And they run into like this explode, exploding building. And turns out it's the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants kind of luring the X-Men out into battle. So Colossus tries to attack the Blob. And he gets attacked by Pyro. And then he gets attacked by, attacked by Avalanche where he gets basically like heated up and then frozen solid. And that is where our issue ends. So... Uh, so, uh, Colossus is frozen solid and uh, we'll see how it turns out and Kitty Pride is obviously very upset uh, this issue also is before Secret Wars so all these you know Peter and Kitty are still a thing but uh, I like this issue it's still a little bit m too much setup for my <laughs> taste but obviously this is kind of how Claremont goes uh, he's kind of working this whole plot going on here with Mystique and her agenda to get Rogue back. So we'll see what it turns out to be. But yeah, just really liking so far what it's like. And uh, really digging the John Romita art. I, it looks very crisp in this issue. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for Uncanny X-Men number 177. Uh, on to the next issue.